Um, I'm just going to continue and uh, talk about an update on analytic treatment interruption, ATI, consensus workshop that was uh, held in Nairobi in May of this year. And this follows a first uh, guide guidance document in 2019, which has been very, very well accepted and uh, not terribly pediatric focus, a tiny bit. The Cure uh, research, research landscape uh, I've shown over here, and uh, the bottom line is there are lots of studies, uh, and most of them are in the global north, but they, uh, there's a, a huge move to bring them to the global south, and that was the reason for a guideline meeting uh, set in Nairobi. Um, there was a committee and a structure to do this, um, you can see there were four working groups. The last one, pediatrics and adolescents, actually covered one through three for, for children as well. Um, and uh, you can see it's quite a, a big group over there um, in Nairobi. And I uh, wanted to give a few points about uh, the, who was in the pediatric adolescent group, the co-chairs of Philip Goulder and myself, and the, the, the names of the, the people are, are listed, all of whom uh, played a huge role in, uh, do, in getting this together. Uh, 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 an important que question was, do we want to combine with the adults or keep separate? And we took the plunge and said, let's combine with the adults and learn from them. So the priority guidance that we came up with is that uh, psychosocial and community support are the most important aspect of doing this type of work in uh, pediatrics and adolescents, uh, well, they're definitely in the African environment, and we learnt about this both from P1115 investigators in Africa and also uh, Gabby and Philip's work in KwaZulu-Natal. Um, the, we had questions about assent and whether HIV should be mentioned or not, depending on exclosure, we agree, uh, disclosure status. We agreed that um, uh, this type of study should not be done under two years of age, and in fact, uh, Janice's work actually supports this as well. Um, there are two types of design. Um, the one as in 1115, where you're looking for clearance as soon as a, a HIV rebounds treat, and then a, where immunological mediators and vaccines are used um, have a, a longer time to rebound. Um, we, uh, so I'm not going to talk about that. And uh, this was the curved ball statement. And uh, because we mainly uh, dealt or, or thought about uh, perinatally acquired HIV, but there are behaviorally acquired um, uh, HIV adolescent patients, and thought that if the circumstances are right, that they sh could be considered for adult trials that are going to take place soon. Um, thank you very much.